so now in this second video we will make a responsive new bar how to make a responsive new bar in a tailwind css so let's get start first you will i import the basic html code and also i use the cdn alpha alpha in js so we will use here dev and a dev we will pass the class as a bg white okay and padding y has string padding x has copy also now we will do dip dot container dot mx auto now we will use dev dot flex dot item center dot justify between let here h1 here is project world my channel name is project world let's load it now what you do we do design this project world so font is world next is excel this one is good now the second one is dev bar the new bar link so it will be home about contact and blog these four are enough for now okay and uh, now the second thing we will use the spacex as that okay this is done and let's give some font size and font, font as medium the text is space okay now it's looking perfect now let make it responsive so how we will use it responsive so we will go to hero icon hero icon click on first link and copy bar this one and paste it here or make the document now write here some classes so when it is in medium size then hide it otherwise block it when it reached in a see so it is blocked now the other thing is hide this this thing to hide so we will use md hide uh, md flex and add on okay this is great see it show and in medium size it is heading wow this is great now do the other one thing copy this and paste it here not paste it copy and we will paste this under the test now remove the remove this hidden and legs and here also we will use block this and uh, remove here we will use space one okay this is great and also use here container mx auto let's see what happened wow and add some margin from the top is and so it is 40 pixel that's great it's hidden and it's shown now x high control equal to open and define here is open x hyphen data equal to open is parts this is hiding and this is show whatever i click on this at the right click equal to open not equal to open when it true to become false when it false to become true let see at working now the other thing we will use cursor pointer cursor pointer that's great see and the one thing is more we will do x hyphen transition so it will making some animation this good and also change this icon so uh, when i click on this and x hyphen show when it open this okay if i click its height and uh, we will use the x icon this one copy the cg and paste it down same classes for that and same thing for that copy and uh, paste it here let's see it again and uh, when it show if it is true equal to open and it is true then it will showing so, that's great amazing and when i click on that so need to hide it it will true copy and make it pass just simple let load click see if you are using x transition here transition let me check out how it's looking wow it's beautiful so use transition so there like wow it's awesome see it's awesome if you click it's showing if you click again at height if you click again it show like in response you nothing will show in our desktop mode in a response mode you will see like this wow this is awesome okay next video we will use drop down here 
if someone click on any drop down so we will show you drop down and also we will use with the response here so thanks for watching